Ichthyologic theology is the study of fishes and more specifically it is the systematics of fishes which is how they relate and within those relationships it's also about the biodiversity and describing new species, the taxonomy of fishes. Ichthyology is Greek, ichthy is fish in Greek. All of biological nomenclature comes from Latin and Greek. I'm Amanda Hay, I am the Ichthyology Collection Manager here at the Australian Museum Research Institute. The diversity of fishes is really quite incredible, um, with more than 33,000 species. The body plans, the reproductive modes, the habitats, it's just incredible. Half of all the vertebrate species, um, it's fishes, probably more than half. The oceans are full of diversity and fishes are only one part of the whole ocean ecosystem and our freshwater ecosystem. Fishes are defined as an aquatic vertebrate and they have gills that they use to breathe. They may have scales, they may not. They generally also have appendages, fins, but not always. There's always exceptions to the rule in biology. Within all of our fishes, there's kind of the very primitive ones. There's jawless fishes like the hagfish, which are very primitive. Coelacanth and the lungfish, which are slightly more advanced. And then you go move through, you've got chimeras, sharks, rays, and then your more traditional um, ray-finned fishes that you'd probably know. Tunas and marlins and all sorts of weird and wonderful things. The Australian Museum Research Institute Ichthyology Collection is full of fishes. <laughs> Big ones, small ones, bits of fishes. We probably have about 750,000 adult specimens and a few million larvae. Probably 95% of our collection is in ethanol for long-term storage. Hopefully, theoretically, we can keep everything for an eternity. We keep track of everything through our database, our um, collection management database. Nearly everything we have is registered, so it's searchable on our database. The collection that we have is really active, so we often do loans, as you'd loan a library book. We do that with fishes. Our scientists, our um, current curator and our associates, um, we have specimens come in that they research describing new species, um, the systematics, how they're related to each other. Systematics is really the understanding of how different species relate to each other and how these relationships change over historical time and space. And taxonomy is the science of discovering and naming new species and also classifying them. Hi, my name's Kai. I'm the Chadwick Biodiversity Fellow here at the Australian Museum and I'm an ichthyologist. The Australian Museum Research Institute's ichthyology collection is the fourth largest collection of marine uh, fish specimens in the world and also the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. So it's a big archive of reference material that have been collected and go all the way back to the 1800s. We're still active in our collection, so we still actively go out and collect because there's still so much we don't know. There's big gaps in our knowledge and big gaps in our distributional knowledge. So where we know that there are gaps, we try to fill. It's very expensive doing field work, but it's an incredibly valuable resource. So yeah, we often collaborate. The one thing that people always ask us though, um, that non-scientists always ask, is do you eat fish? Um, we love fish to eat. <laughs> uh, in the fish department, in best case scenario, if we have to go for lunch, we go to sushi. Mm -hmm.